Hey everyone, Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com and I am fired up today because I just got off the phone with an amazing friend of mine who is just one of those powerhouses, right? It was on her podcast and she, we got to talking about money mindset and weight charging and all that kind of thing and I'm actually speaking at her event uh, next month in May in Austin and she's going to come speak at my uh, Speaker Success Boot Camp in June. So I'm totally excited and I wanted to record a quick video because, well first of all you should come to both events uh, and I'll put the links below, but um, I want to talk to you about the five things that should be in your marketing business funnel, your product funnel, what you offer, what you sell, right? There's a lot of talk about funnels lately and a funnel is not just a web page or a landing page or a click funnel or you know a process it's a, it's the whole strategy behind how you're getting uh, leads it's the marketing lead generation and follow-up and sales process that you're taking your prospects and your and your clients through okay so a funnel is the strategy the technical side of the funnel can be in many different formats so don't get sold a specific way and it has to be this way or it's not really a funnel and that because that's false okay so let me know if you have any question with the technology that's not what this video is today about today I want to talk to you about the five things that you might sell. A lot of times I see people selling something that's way too inexpensive. And if you need to make $10,000 a month or even $5,000 a month, you have to sell a heck of a lot of whatever it is in order to make that money. And it's a lot of work, right? It's just as easy to sell a $5,000 thing as it is a $500 thing as it is a $50 thing. If you know how to do a sales conversation or you know the sales process, I'm telling you, it's just as easy, okay, with the right prospects. Now, so the five things real quick that you might consider making sure you sell or offer in some way, number one is a freebie, okay, so it's not really something you sell, but have some kind of freebie. I have multiple freebies. I think it's important to have a few different ways people uh, experience your, your expertise and your work. Um, without having to pay. And a lot of people are hesitant these days because they've been burned in one way or the other. I hate to say it, but it's true, right? A lot of people have been burned. So give them a way to try you out for free first, okay? Free first, then pay. What can you do for free first? So have some kind of freebies. I have multiple freebies. If you want to see some examples of different freebies, go to my freebie uh, training page. It's uh, jumpstartgift.com. Jumpstart gift. Dot com. You'll see like nine different things right there depending on when you're watching this video. Okay, so then the second thing is having an easy yes offer. Having something that's low priced, it's a try me out kind of a price. It could be an introductory price and it's not your regular pricing. So it could be for a free a consult, not free, but paid. It could be for a consult or a coaching call. It could be for a group thing, a session. It could be for a group program. It could be something, but an easy yes offer is typically under $200. Even under $100 is even easier. Something that people won't even hesitate uh, getting their checkbook out or write, or giving you a credit card or giving you cold hard cash, 20 bucks, okay, here's 20 bucks, right? To try you out in some way. And then you're getting them into your, your funnel and getting them to consume some of your products and services. I highly recommend having an easy yes offer. I didn't do this years ago. I only, because I was positioned, I was conditioned, I'm sorry, by my coaches to just do high-end programs. And so I would walk around with my high-end program. But there's only a select amount of people that are going to buy your high-end program, right? So the other people were just kind of, I was leaving money on the table because I didn't have a way for them to try me out. So that's the easy yes offer. I teach this all at my events, people make money at my events. I love it, I love to see people making money. The third thing is the do-it-yourself. This is the offering that people can buy and it might be a little bit more beefy of a product, but it's a do-it-yourself home study course. Usually, you've probably already done it live, so you've had a group program or done some kind of live thing uh, and then recorded it, and then that becomes your home study course. So this is more of maybe your signature process, your signature course kind of thing, and uh, they can work at their own pace going through this course, and that's a good system to have because people do want the the system. They want the signature system. They want to buy the course. They don't just want to buy a session or two usually. Okay, so that's the do-it-yourself option. Um, that might be somewhere between 
you know, $400 and $2,000, somewhere in there. Then there's the I'm all in. That's number four, I'm all in. This is for very interested and committed prospects who want more of you, right? They want to get your advice personally maybe or work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, they wanna come to an event or even pay you for your high-end programs or services. There are fewer people who will commit to these types of offerings, however. Uh, if priced right though, you don't need that many nor can you usually handle that many. So. You want that to be the I'm all in, I wanna work with you and get hand-holding. Um, if, if this is a good business model for you, then definitely make sure you have that. Um, and the fifth one is finally the whole enchilada, right? The whole enchilada, this is where the type of customer that simply loves you, your biggest fan, they want everything you do, teach or sell or promote or offer or share, and they want everything. So everything in the kitchen sink is in that package potentially. And that's what I do in my Live Big Mastermind is every they get everything in the kitchen sink. They get unlimited access to me, frankly. They get the group calls, they get the live trainings, they get the live retreats, they get all the do-it-yourself programs, they get all the extra things that I create almost um, all year long. And it's amazing. I mean, they stick around too. Those types of people stick around. So make it easy for them to stick around in your program, right? I know the second year of my program is considerably less expensive than year one because that's when they need the most help, right? And then it drops down and they sticks around to a very reasonable um, price point so that they can see themselves sticking around and staying in that community. That's how you get people in your community staying around for a long time, is make it easy for them to do that and to still provide tons of value, tons of value. So those are five things that you can put in your funnel. I hope this is helpful, you, helpful for you. Um, please make sure you're checking out the free stuff or come into a call with me. I don't do a lot of uh, the free strategy sessions anymore, and so I would love to invite some of you to come to that if you're interested, but you have to send me a little message through my contact page. That's how you get in these days, is to go to my contact page at jumpstartyourmarketing.com. Send me a message, tell me why. Tell me why you wanna to talk to me about uh, jumpstarting your business, right? I have a lot of clients going on, but I have a room for a few more, but I only wanna to talk to those people who are freaking serious about building their business. You don't have to have a lot of uh, experience. You don't have to be ready okay, to do it. You just have to have the drive and the confidence to know that you're doing this business and you gotta figure out how to get it going and how to make a lot more money doing what you love. Those, that's who I wanna talk to. If that's you, go to my contact page now and I will um, schedule a call with you if, it's, if it seems like a good fit, okay? So tell me why you wanna talk to me. But uh, other than that, um, maybe come to a next event and I would love to see you there too. So go to the event page of the website and we'll talk to you soon, guys. Have a great day. Bye.